when I decided to enter seminary and go to St. John Vianney Seminary in St. Paul. My scholarships didn't come with. For a student at the University of St. Thomas, um, just a normal student who's not a seminarian, the education can cost almost $50,000 a year. And seminarians already receive um, a, a discount on tuition and that drops the cost to about $40,000 a year. But um, that is still significantly more than education at any state school. But due to um, generous benefactors and the generosity of the bishop and the diocese, um, I was able to go to the seminary and they were able to help me with my financial needs. And I just graduated uh, last uh, spring um, with a bachelor's degree in philosophy. They're doing their vocation and they're giving money from their vocation to support my vocation. And as a future priest, I might serve them one, one day, and they're serving me right now, so then I'm gonna be serving them, and it's like the whole church is at work, and we're all kind of in this together. So it's really relieving. I don't have to worry about the money. I don't have to be constantly concerned with how I'm gonna pay, what's gonna happen in the future. They're giving me money, and I'm receiving that, but I receive a lot more too, just because I'm not in this by myself, and it's not about me. Like they don't give this money because they know Christian Rodakowski. They give it to me because of who I am as like what I'm doing. I'm doing my vocation to become a priest, become a servant of God. It really brings me out of myself to realize, well, this money's good, but it's really actually not about me. It's about something bigger. Most seminarians are at least able to work during the summers and help pay off some of their loans that they need. On the other hand, in my situation, I'll need to do some extra schooling during the summers. And not only does that add extra costs for the education of taking online classes and paying for books, but it also takes away time for me to work and to earn some of that money on my own. And so I've become very dependent on the generous donors that give to seminaries. And not only does it help me financially, but it's a great encouragement and I think it's a sign from God of, of the vocation that he wants for me and that I'm doing as well. I'm the oldest of five children and uh, my parents realized early on that they were not able to help with my uh, academic financial aid. After uh, deciding to make the move to seminary, this coming fall, uh, I soon realized that my academic scholarships would not transfer to St. John Paul II in Washington, D.C. I'm in a position now where I am currently working two jobs. Uh, one is as a janitor uh, for St. Leo's in Minot, uh, the other as a waiter uh, at Perkins Restaurant. And uh, they're both good jobs and, you know, I'm getting some help that way, but uh, they're not nearly enough for a seminary formation. It's, it's a humbling experience because you realize that it's not for Brady Wingenbach, you know, it's not for this, this 19 year old kid who's just a really great guy. It's for, God willing, a future priest. <laughs>